we're going to provide a demonstration of how to administer a rapid test at home and how to submit your results. In your kit, you will receive enough material to do two self-screening tests, so two test devices, two specimen tubes with buffer solution, and two swabs, and an insert with safety information. You will also need a clean, small cup and a reliable timer, such as your phone and a pen. To start, open the test device and place it on a flat surface. Write the date on the bottom of the device. Next, take a look at the specimen tube. If there are any droplets, give the tube a tap to knock them down into the solution. Then open the blue cap on the tube and place the tube upright in the cup. To self-swab, remove the swab from the packaging, tilt your head back slightly and insert the swab two centimeters into your nostril. Then rotate the swab around the inside of your nostril in a circular motion five times. One, two, three, four, five, and remove. Now insert it into the other nostril and repeat that action. One, two, three, four, five. Now you're ready to transfer your sample into the specimen tube. Insert the swab into the buffer solution. Rotate the swab and the buffer solution against the wall of the tube five times. Then, with your fingers, apply pressure to the outside of the tube to squeeze out the swab. You can then break off the top of the swab and replace the blue cap. Again, take a look at the tube, and if there are any bubbles, gently tap the tube to release them. Next, open the white dropper nozzle cap on the end of the specimen tube. Over the test device, squeeze five drops of solution into the specimen well of the test device. Set your timer for 15 minutes. Do not move or handle the device once the timer starts. You can read the device after 15 minutes, but not past 20 minutes. Now, to check your results. If you observe one line at the C, your test is presumed negative. If you see two lines, one at the C and one at the T, this is a presumed positive result. And if there are no lines at all, or just one line at the T, you have an invalid result and need to retest. Once you are done, take a photo of the test device with the date and line or lines clearly visible. Then you can dispose of the swab, cap tube, and test device in your regular garbage. Then remember to wash your hands with soap and water. Now that you have determined your result, it's time to report it. To do so, log into pods with your NSID and password. First, on the left side, click Vaccine Status. On the page, enter your current vaccine status and submit. Then, enter your test results in the COVID Testing Symptom Check channel under the COVID Testing tab. Enter the date. Enter your result. Next, upload your photo of the test device. Click on Acknowledge. And save test. If negative, the bar will turn green, indicating you are able to come to campus. If positive, the bar will turn red, indicating you cannot come to campus and should call 811 to arrange for further testing and instruction. A record of your results will show up below. And that is how to perform and submit your rapid test. Thank you for watching and keep protecting our pack.